Chad, have you heard about the influencer who's cleaning graves? I've seen her around like the past bump or something where she was just like cleaning graves, literally just cleaning them, restoring them, and it looked like a good thing. But I've come across this video. This influencer ruined babies graves for views. And now my entire opinion of her shifted. This influencer known as Clean Girl is ruining graves for views. What makes the situation even more concerning is that her content is largely marketed towards children. Could clean Like this? She's not making them pink. This is cleaning them. Clean Girl be presenting her actions as a selfless act, supposedly cleaning grave sites out of respect? Or is it possible that the controversy surrounding these videos is a calculated strategy to promote her new Clean Girl product? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis Show, and on this day today, I bring to you the pink sauce lady of cleaning. Anti-back surface cleaner that's pink. Magic foaming spray. I mean, what else can it do? Can it pay my bills and do my laundry as well? But today's video, Please. ladies and gentlemen, raises a lot of questions. Is it ethical? Is it morally absurd? Is she gonna be arrested? I wonder how she quote-unquote ruined it because I would say why is it always pink? I from what I've seen it doesn't leave any pink residue. It's just cleaning, right? It's just that. But I wonder how she supposedly uh, destroyed or ruined the grave because if it's just cleaned then I have no issues, but the titles are just something else. Grave. This is the tiniest grave I've ever seen. I wonder who's buried here. <gasps> This is a baby's grave. Now, while on the surface, it may seem like a wonderful thing she's doing, cleaning the rest in place of a person's deceased loved one. But if you compare yeah. her content to the genuine grave cleaner creators that are out there, it's night and day difference. I mean, she runs a f***ing vacuum over the grave, for Christ's sake. It looks like it's been here for 500 years. How did this grave get so dirty? Well, you know, so much for resting in peace. But this is meant to be the final I don't resting think place. I don't, I don't think there's an issue with that, though. Last time I checked the uh, desecration of a grave is a crime. I don't know if it's a crime. The product, why is the product always pink? I, I don't think that's, it's an issue if the product is pink. As long as it doesn't stay we pink. We all love Rick. He'll long be remembered and he'll be Like, as long missed. as she doesn't destroy anything. Come on, that's it! Come on, you yes. Jesus Christ. Not to mention she meddles with babies' graves as well without asking any sort of permission. And before you make any judgments, right, I haven't given you the full story yet. So let me break it down for you, ladies and gentlemen, right. by answering four simple questions. Who, what, why, and how? Okay. Who is the clean girl? So let's start with the first question. Who is she? Well, she's an entitled privilege influencer who doesn't understand the concept of respect. That's the short version. Now let me give you the longer right. version. She's a YouTuber and TikToker who goes by the name of Clean Girl. She posts several cleaning videos, not only mm, clean. She's a YouTuber many... and TikToker who goes by the name of Clean Girl. 72 following 3 million followers. Okay, the clean girl. She posts several cleaning videos, not only cleaning the grave sites, but also uploads videos of her cleaning the McDonald's f***ing bathroom. Yeah, and she don't wear no gloves either. Cleaning <laughs> McDonald's bathroom for free. I just want to make this place beautiful for everyone to enjoy. I have a passion for public restroom. And she always claims that when she's cleaning something, she's doing it for free, even though nobody even asked her to do it in the first place. And there's also one time as well where she actually got asked to leave the... <laughs> Cleaning. I mean, if you ain't gonna clean it, why would you ever do this for free? She's getting paid on TikTok and YouTube for it. What do you mean? This is free publicity to her. She, uh, the reason why she's doing it for free is for YouTube. That's why. <laughs> Quote unquote free. It's 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 just promotion. You know, she doesn't need them to pay her. Leave now, no cleaning. This place is meant to be shit, like literally. The bathroom because she didn't ask permission beforehand. And that also begs the question, if like, she isn't asking Mac <laughs> She should ask permission. Like, I agree with that, she should ask permission. Donald's permission to clean their bathrooms when they're right there in front of her. She can't be asking the family members who lost a loved one if it's okay to clean their grave. But it's the grave cleaning videos that do the best on her TikTok account anyway. Some of them have got f***ing hundreds of millions of views. I mean, look. I'll tell you why those um, videos are 
the most profitable because it's like those satisfying cleaning videos you know it's like the same shit for like power washing and like the carpet cleaning right like those videos are so hella satisfying to well, see something that's absolutely dirty and shit to look good again yeah that i do agree why not just ask yeah just ask like literally <laughs> why not just fucking ask but i don't think anyone would have a problem with her actually just cleaning shit you know but at least ask look at that 139 million views well we gotta watch that let's clean a random grave who do you think is buried here like i let's think i've seen this out. one so many questions how old is this grave it like, I'm gonna just say, I hate the way she talks. I just hate it. Like, oh my god. Who could this be? Wow. Like, I hate it. But in the end, she's just cleaning her grave. I don't think there's something that bad about it. It looks like it's been here for 500 years. How did this grave get... It's the same as the guy who do the free long care. That's... Yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted to mention, but then I forgot. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. It's so dirty. <laughs> Look. There's a tree growing out of it. I love plants. This transformation <laughs> is extremely hard for me. I love I plants. Everyone deserves a beautiful grave. Okay, so I did some research. A woman is buried here. This is like respectful, but also not. The vacuum felt so disrespectful. I mean, yeah, what? what? I, I don't... Yo, it's just cleaning it. I don't... How's the vacuum disrespectful? I generally don't see an issue with the vacuum. Valley girl? She sounds like a bratty high school girl from a movie. She does, waking up the dead law. I don't think there's an issue with the vacuum, personally. Like, personally, I don't see an issue. Mods, can you snooze the ads or do we not have snoozers? What the fuck is she doing? And she also decided to rip the flowers from the grave and put fake ones in there? I mean, the Okay, that one is... Why would you do that one? Why would you do that one, man? Why? Those flowers aren't even fully dead yet. Somebody's clearly visited there recently. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I really don't get why she's doing that. Why if someone did that, that one, to one that of my one family is members, a, I'd be pretty pissed off. I'd be thinking, who the f do you think you are? They've been ripped out of their roots and replaced with fake shitty flowers. Who the f touched my flowers? I go on TikTok the next day and then I find this cunt smothering pink moose all over the headstone. Not to mention as well that her style of content is clearly catered towards children. I just got these super cool gloves. She looks old. Is that just me? Maybe. <sighs> mm. Hmm. Guys, I just found some crazy graves. Plastic over surgery. Here. That's I what I'm thinking. Clean them next. Starting with you. I'll take care of you, little guy. But good news. Pretty colors. It's just pure brain rot. Feels like she's talking to some toddlers. Like what? It does. That's what I was thinking. That it's like a fucking, a freaking kid show kind of talk, right? Can iPad kid is gonna be sat there watching grave cleaning videos, and then. As long as it's uh, pretty colors and satisfying, they'll watch it. If you couple her style of content with the reason why she's claiming to do this, which is a selfless act, it just seems really disingenuous. Like to choose what grave you were gonna clean that day, you threw a pink bouncy prickly. I think this is the same kind of thing where people get angry at Mr. Beast for curing blindness. I think that's the same kind of angerness he has. Like, she's still, in the end, all of my role doing a good thing. But why throw away the flowers, right? She she needs to be corrected in some of the ways, definitely. Definitely needs to have some correction in the things she's doing. But overall it's not a bad thing. You know? I think it's still a good thing to like go out and clean graves of people that uh, of people that have been like that deceased that no one takes care of the graves. She's most likely one of those young people who had done surgery and then were 20, so they look like 50 year olds who tries to look young. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Is your people angry at her behaving childish, but the only problem is if she hasn't asked for consent of families. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sometimes there aren't even families left anymore for this uh deceased people. I don't think it's that bad of a thing to clean a grave. To not have the consent of the family, but at least to ask 
um, the graveyard keepers, right? Like the people that actually work there, to ask them for permission at least. The issue is more the reason than what she is doing, and when the reason is an issue, the action that follow may go wrong real fast. I think it really depends. Like, I don't think she's entirely only doing it for Cloud. I think she actually does enjoy doing cleaning graves because she could do so many other fucking things. She could, like, in all honesty, she, she could go to fucking OF if she wanted to really make money. She's not that bad looking. Like, she does look somewhat old, but she definitely could get, get away with OF, for example, right? So if she was only in it purely for the money, she could do anything else. She might enjoy cleaning. I know people that love cleaning. Yeah, like, to me, that's a pretty foreign concept too, but some people really do enjoy just cleaning. If she gets permission, then I don't see a problem. Same. Her intention might be good, but the method can be not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the method, like, the way she's doing it could be a little bit con uh, correct. Kids encouraging OF. Bro, if people want to do OF and sell out their morals and sell out their body, freedom to them. I'll still judge them, sure. I'll still judge them. People have judged them for centuries. I'll still judge them. But they can do it. Sure. I'll just silently judge. I, I'm not selling my morals. But do you think people getting money care if they're judged? Of course they're not. Of course they don't give a fuck. They're crying. They're not crying, sorry. They're cleaning their tears, quote unquote tears, with the money bills. Like the gift I showed you earlier. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a single fuck. They make too much money, they could they couldn't care less. They've been told their entire fucking lives that they have been whoring themselves out. They have a thick fucking skin. To me, it's still selling your morals out. I couldn't get give less of a fuck. I would never do that. If they wanna do it, sure. I'll still judge and you'll still have sold your morals, but they don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck either. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it is fine, but I we can leave the dead out of it? Stupid question, I know. Mm. I think showing someone... I think showing on, uh, um, someone deceased is actually pretty nice. In a sense that, wow, this person is being remembered. This person used to be someone, you know? I think that's a good thing. I have my OCD moments sometimes and everything gets cleaned. <laughs> I, I, get, I, I, I get that. The ball? It's not the first prick I've seen today. And when I say disingenuous, it's because if you compare her grave cleaning videos with other content creators that do the same thing, it's a very different story. The other creators I've seen doing some grave cleaning are very gentle. They give a lot of history behind the gravestone. Well, not the gravestone, but the person that's buried there. The gravestone was- But she gave some history too. Like, he just didn't showcase it. I've seen a video of her, actually. I've seen the video of the, fir the first one he showcased it. And she did talk about the person and who he was. What do you mean? He's being disingenuous. In comparison, he's being disingenuous right now. Probably made by some sort of gravestone maker. But the other creators, they're very respectful about it, very peaceful. They ask permission from the family members. They give a long history about the person's life that was buried there. Unlike this person who just f***ing reads the plaque. Okay, so I did some research. A woman is buried here. Maria Lugo Texador. She died on the 19th of January. Welcome back, guys. Today I'm cleaning some gravestones. I I'm, I'm sorry, but it's get with the times. Like, we may not like it. Fucking, we may not like it, but this brain rot kind of talk does appeal to people. It does. <laughs> like, get with the times, old man, am I right? Like, I'm sorry, but there is an audience for it. This is the gravestone I picked out, and as we can see, I Joe died screen, but she's not causing harm. That's what I mean. But we need to conduct some intense research to find out his full name. Joe. Joe Mama. Oh. He's being disrespectful, though. 
Now he's the one being disrespectful. Oh no, I just got fooled by Joe Mama. I mean, it just seems like a fucking pathetic. Like she's doing it for the shits and giggles. But as I already mentioned, the Grey videos are her most popular videos, and she really does cross the line with them, which leads perfectly onto my next point. What does she do to these gravestones that's so yeah, let's bad? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe he's got. Maybe he's still got some good points coming. So what does she do to these gravestones that's got people riled up? Well, as we've already seen previously, let's see, let's see, let's she fucking vacuums them. Imagine going on TikTok I, I, and seeing your loved one's resting place being rammed by a fuck. I I don't think that's again. I don't think that's a bad thing. I, chat like genuinely like tell me if you think it's a bad thing. Explain to me why. Like personally, I don't see it as a bad thing. Basically, he doesn't like the tone she uses, which I can understand, but not really a topic to make a video about. We'll see if there's an actual damage done. That's what I mean, yeah. That's what I mean, we'll wait. I can see it doing damage. I think that depends on the grave. Only way it could be bad is if she damages something. Yes, but... Does a vacuum really damage anything? Like, she's... Here, vacuuming. She fucking vacuums them. Imagine going on to people riled up. Well, like, as like we've already seen previously, right. she. No, not... The real and Spinner, you remember that Wendy Gun hit Peace getting the same vibe here? Hmm? Something found in the resting place. Certain degree of respect should be shown. I mean, she's cleaning it. Would it be better to do it, like, with hand and manual? Sure. If it does damage it, yes, that's bad, but I don't really think it would damage it that badly. If the grave is damaged, then it is bad, but if it isn't broken, then it shouldn't be a big issue. That's what I mean. I can see using the wrong product could corrode the stone. Maybe the vacuum shouldn't really be an issue. That's what I mean, right? Like, a vacuum is not going to co cause cor uh, corrosion. Could be the cleaning product leave residue that makes it more dirty. Well, that's a different story. Yeah, 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 that's an entirely different story. Like, personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal to use a vacuum on hard stone. Like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything. I just don't see it as an issue. Fucking vacuums, though. Imagine going on TikTok and seeing your loved one's resting place being rammed by a fuck vacuum but she can also be seen as inconsiderate as well because there's certain cleaning products that can actually damage the stone itself as we can see here that on Google, sure, yes. cleaning gravestones damage them removing historic stone material from the surface will destroy a stone's natural protective skin and cause the stone great harm over a short time that's so a good knows? point maybe her product has certain chemicals okay he says who knows he doesn't even know if it does doesn't it? that could actually be damaging the stone he does itself. actually I mean, know you even consider that or did you consider looking at a product? Because you're just pointing this out without actually having proof to it now. Like, you're saying this is a problem, but you don't even know yourself. You know what I mean? You're just thinking about the booze. But ladies and gentlemen, she doesn't just scrub them down. Hey, yes, it's a fair point to make. Did he even consider asking her, right? <laughs> Did he even ask her? Can't we say that about the other people's video? Exactly! We could say the same thing about the other people's video that are cleaning it. And with her pink solution, she also yes. fucking paints them. Making her corner of the world beautiful again is the Okay, painting? The least I can do. I'm so grateful to everyone who follows me to do these transformations. So this is what the gravestone looked like after she cleaned it, and then this is- it. This doesn't tell me that she painted it. This might just be how the engravement looks. This, this isn't proof that she painted it, unless he shows me photo, like, video proof or photo proof that she used a pen to paint over it. I'm not buying it. Like, I'm staying open-minded. I'm not taking his word right now for At it. At the end, she fucking lathered the thing in white paint. Who says that? Did she show oh, uh, it that she did? A wonderful and selfless of her. Like, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below, but doesn't this just seem somewhat disrespectful? Where's the proof that it's actually painted? Respectful. You know, even a little bit. Like painting somebody else's grave. If he's gonna say that, he should show proof that she did paint Stone it. Stone without permission. Who the fuck wants that? Like, arguably, you know, it could be a good thing. Some people might really appreciate it. That's totally fine. But at least ask permission before that. But her cleaning product is also on sale and will die. It's really hard to damage rock on accident. My 
That makes things out of cement, and those motherfuckers, when we were putting them in place, damaged the wall and didn't even scale. Wow! I've into that a little bit later, but it's truly misleading. You're making people think that you just cleaned this grave completely spotless, but actually you just painted over the map. Where's the proof? You're making people think that you just cleaned this grave completely spotless, but actually you just painted over the It could be, it could not be, I don't know. And I think... It looks very painted. Do you think so? I think if she was caught painting graves, she would have long been kicked out, though. It does look like paint. It could be. It could not be. I'm. I'm not taking either side with that. I, I'm. I'm gonna stay open-minded in regards of this. The marks. And it's very interesting as well because she doesn't even mention the fact that she's painted the tombstone. Clearly. She too smooth not to be. She knows that if she was to address this, she'd receive a lot of hate. Not just for painting somebody else's property, but too misleading the customer. There's an abandoned grave in here. I'm gonna clean it today for free. I have no idea who's buried here. Oh my gosh, you guys. It got no proof, but it is extremely bright for a grave that was covered in dirt. Mm. I want to look up some of the other before and after ones. Give me a moment. Let's, Let's guys, see. Here. This is the most requested video I've ever had, which is how to I actually clean a headstone. So today we're going to spend time. You may need to retreat it with some lasting product, wet and forget, soft. Okay, it's not actually fully cleaned here. The missing weak children gravestone cleaning. This is the grave of David B. Lenny also died. But she's still in the middle of cleaning. She never remarried and died. Here's how Merit Stone is. This one isn't White Stone. It's not White Stone. Kids, I have to sleep. Good night and good night. Check. Good night. Good night. Things are hanging out. I I want to see a proper comparison. Detail. Here's a before and after. Pause to view. I know that I've seen white stone being cleaned pretty sparkly. Stone that's been dirty for so long isn't gonna be snow white. I've seen things that I've seen uh graves that been cleaned very sparkly. So I wanna say open minded. It could be painted, could not be. I mean some stone is white, but the other one looked perfect. I mean what if it was marble? You know? Grave is huge. I knew this would be hard to clean, but this is crazy. I just keep uncovering. If she more did paint and... it, if she did paint it, that's a big no no. That's a big fucking no no. Most graves are grey, but I've seen white ones and there's always bright. Marble's not homo homogeneous? What does that mean? That it doesn't get that dirty or what? More. My mind is swirling with questions. How did all this get so buried? Can their family find this headstone when they visit? <sighs> After a whole day of cleaning, I could finally read the name. Doris Lugo. But we're only just starting Singing to uncover color. her okay. mystery. I know Doris was born August 14th, 1945, and she passed away February 1st, 1995. But who put Doris in the forest? Who oh, put Doris in the forest? What the, say what the that? fuck are you talking about? Why Unfortunately, would she say Doris that? passed away, and when people pass away, they get buried in their final resting place. Why, would she Why are you say making that? it sound like as if you just uncovered a dead body that had been murdered a hundred years ago? Only just that? starting to uncover her mystery. I know Doris was born August 14th, 1945. I kept wondering what her life was like. Who did she love? Was she pretty? Did she have a dog? I tried to find more information online, and I found nothing. Yeah, the authenticity of your actions is truly seeping through right now. Quick little flash of your own product right there. Just a quick little one. But not just that, but the way you're talking about the deceased person just doesn't seem like you actually give a f I wonder if this dead person had a dog. Mm, did she have brothers or sisters? I wonder Okay, now he's just making fun of her for the sake of being- making fun and for the sake of being, um, fucking mean and looking down upon her. Like, if you're gonna judge her, judge her for the right things. Like, flashing her product like that? Yeah, absolutely valid to judge her for that. Agreed. Absolutely fucking valid. Judging her for painting the grave? If she actually did paint the grave? Absolutely fucking valid. Removing the fucking flowers out of flower pots? 
if they are not like um bad yes he's just yapping out yeah he's just yapping for the sake what of yapping what car did this person drive i can't wait to uncover this mystery the mystery is love is that this person passed away and this person belonged to a family what are you f <sighs> bro i think it's absolutely fine to wonder about what a p what a person used to do that's completely fucking fine like just let her be there's no issue about wondering what a person used to be. I think there's actually something beautiful within it. Like wondering, like thinking about another human life. Fucking talking about. I think you guys would be greatly concerned if I popped up on YouTube one day in a graveyard talking like an absolute fucking psychopath. And if she couldn't sleep any fucking lower than she already has, she also goes to disturb babies' gravestones. Oh, let's see. Grave. This is the tiniest grave I've ever seen. I wonder who's buried here. <gasps> this is a baby's grave. Why would that lie there? I'm gonna make it look beautiful again. Immediately, my heart filled with so many emotions. This grave makes me so sad. This is extreme. It is like a baby's grave is one of the worst things there could be. It's most likely just her voice. Yeah, I think that's literally just her voice too. I think she literally just talks like that. Could be a buddy belong to a lower rank noble. Yeah, I think it's interesting to wonder about the people who used to come before us. Definitely. Extremely hard for me. I just want to go home and pet my dog, but I can't stop. I need to keep going for baby Luis Alfredo Lozada Ruiz. Baby Luis deserves a beautiful resting place. He passed that is true. away October 18th, 1982. I tried to learn more about 1982, man. And I think cleaning a grave of someone who passed in 1982 chat. I think that's something nice. Like overall, that's a nice thing. Oh, baby Louise. Who was your mom and dad? What was your life like? Did you have any sisters? But I found nothing. I can't imagine the pain your family went through. I hope they found their peace. Yeah, well, they had found their peace. Uh, until you fucking came along. First things first, once again, just the absolute disrespect. So far, I don't think so far, so far it's fine. So far, the whole video is fine. When she's talking about the baby's grave, she has set the content up as if it is catering towards a child audience. Like, why are you talking like that? As if you're on the fucking Disney channel. And uh, just by all the... She probably grew up with that lot of B, man. She might be murdering these people and burying them herself, but everybody comes on screen and side with her. <laughs> she put them there to clean the grave. Damn questions you're asking. I'm guessing you probably didn't ask the family for permission. The baby died in 1982. I don't think that family, at least not the closest relatives, are around anymore either. I'm sorry, but that that family's gone. I'm, I'm sorry, the close rel relatives to that person are gone. There's no permission to be asked apart from the graveyard keepers. Yeah, and she also found the baby's blanket as well, by the looks of it. And uh, she washed it. So? There's no issue with that! Like... I don't think there's an issue with washing that! Because otherwise, it would just... Disintegrate at one point, you know? Like, what?! Yeah. I mean, there's nothing quite like washing the memories away from a blanket belonging to somebody else's deceased baby. I truly get a kick out of it. Look, feel free to tell me down below if I'm looking too much into it, but I've got a jumper that belonged to one of my deceased loved ones, and if somebody washed that, I'd be pretty fucking pissed. Do you know what I mean? Why did you wash the black? Does he want her to look up their Insta? Like, <laughs> I have a feeling this dude is just something else. Yeah, he's just hating for the sake of hating, it seems. Why did you wash the blanket? That might have been the last memory and smell the parents had of them. Um... Bro, that smell was long gone. That smell was long gone. I get that might have been the last memory and smell the parents had of him. You did not clean the memories off the blanket. Oh yeah, she also painted the baby's grave as well. How thoughtful.
Why are people hating? Some people are hating because she doesn't ask for permission most of the time. <laughs> most of the time? That's the understatement of the century. Try fucking every time. Like, cleaning random graves is one of the most hated videos. And she cleans the toys of dead people. It could be the last thing they touched. Cleans the toys of dead people. Well, that leads perfectly onto my next point. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, she goes to clean a baby's grave because that's all of her business, isn't it? And there was these little stuffed animals that probably belonged to the baby that the parents left there as memories and she just f I can get behind the notion of not wanting to clean the last, like, like, thinking about it, I can get behind not wanting to, like, clean and wash off the last, like, reminiscence of some uh, of like a deceased one I, I i do i can't get behind it like think about it i can't get behind it after all but at the same time like logically if the baby's been dead for that long the touch won't matter it's more of a sentimental thing i personally don't have an issue with the manner she does the video uh she just tries to make the a uh, video less gloomy and more entertaining. Yeah, I think it's, he's just offended that she's farming views with people's graves, which is completely understandable. And finding fault with otherwise okay things retroactively, maybe. Yeah, it's not like washing the stuff uh, takes away the memory. It's not a physical thing. And by that point, no smell can be there anymore from the owner. It's just a shallow argument. It is. Like emotionally, I can get behind it, right? But logically thinking, there's not much wrong with it. Can wash them. A little baby was buried here. I'm going to clean her grave for free. Just to interrupt quickly, she keeps saying, I'm going to clean this for free. Well, how noble of you. Sorry, I just wanted to inquire, but who asked you? I couldn't who believe how young you? she was when she passed away. Like, who are you? Who am I as well, right? Like, but who are you to judge her for doing it? Who am I for judging you of doing it either, right? <laughs> Same logic, but still, like, who are you? Who am I? All of us are nobodies. Like, Jesus Christ, man, chill. Way. There's eight teddy bears on her grave. They were so wow. dirty and sad looking. I thought of her mother placing each one down in honor of her daughter. I couldn't put these bears back as they were, so I hand-washed each of them. Genesis lived a short life. She died the same day she was born, but you can tell she's deep. Oh, that's sad. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. Missed. Thank you to all my followers who support me to do these transformations. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I- I want to see something. Like, how does the grave look at the start? I couldn't believe how young she was when she passed away. There's eight teddy bears on her grave. They were so dirty. No, she's actually painting it. There, she's painting it, chat. Here's the proof, she is painting it. Why couldn't he have put this one in earlier? She is painting them. No, that, that's bad. She actually is painting them. And sad looking. I thought of her mother placing each one down in honor of her daughter. I couldn't put these bears back as they were, so I hand washed each of them. Genesis lived a sh hand washing. I think that's fine, but the painting. Life. She died the same day she was born, but you can tell she's deeply missed. Thank you to all my followers who support me to do these transformations. So once again, the only thing I'd allow is that the moment the video is monetized, it is not really for free or completely selfless. But even then, do we actually know for sure she doesn't have permission? We don't actually know, no. We do not actually know if she does perm have permission or not. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that she has painted the grave and also washed all the memories away from the teddies. People disagree with their actions. I don't know what else to tell you. Just comment down below. Let me know your opinion. You can look at it from two point of view. So yes, she is making the graves look cleaner, more presentable. But on the other hand, is the family members happy with that? Is that what they want? Did you ask? No, you f***ing didn't. It's just as simple as a moral court. It's just absent with her. But this all Painting is absolutely not okay. That is absolutely fucking unacceptable. That is really, 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 really bad. 
also transitions very well into the point that I'm about to say, which is why? Why is she doing it? Firstly, she might generally be enjoying cleaning. But secondly, I think she's just stupid. I don't think she's doing it maliciously. I don't think she's doing it maliciously. I think she's generally just dumb. Well, as she's explained already, ladies and gentlemen, she's doing it for free. A random act of kindness. I think it's only okay if the family wishes for it. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> that agreed. nobody asks you to do. But in my opinion, it's clear why she's doing it. She's using this pink product of hers in every single video, and the videos get millions of views. And this pink cleaning solution that she uses is actually listed on her website, but it's not for sale yet. Let's take a look. Hey, I'm the clean girl. It means everything to me that you're supporting my journey in making the world a better place. Magic foaming spray coming soon. The most satisfying cleaning spray you'll ever use. I generally don't think she has malicious intent, though. Like, generally, I do not think she has malicious intent. I believe she is just a little bit dumb. I think she's generally just dumb and ill-informed and doesn't know better. I'm surprised this painting of the grave wasn't showed first. Yeah, like, he did talk about it, but he didn't show proof of it, and now there is proof. Cleaner than ever before, simpler than traditional methods, and brighter than your cleanest dreams. And you can join the waitlist, apparently. You know, all this fucking bollocks is uh, really giving me the pink sauce lady vibes. <laughs> when she was promoting her pink- I- I don't know how to say the pink sauce lady is ten times worse. The pink sauce lady is so much worse. Pink sauce on TikTok and everybody just couldn't wait to get their hands on it, and then she released it and it turned out to be shit. Kind of the same thing, it's, you know, similar. Yeah, she but does, she does stop The difference between the pink sauce lady and the clean girl is that the pink sauce lady's downfall came after she released the product. This clean girl's downfall is happening right now before the product. And as I showed previously, as she's cleaning the graves, she'll sometimes whip out her product and promote it for a couple of seconds. Yeah, that, that one I don't agree with either. If she just using it, if she's just using it alongside it, okay, fair. But like showing it, I generally believe though, what even is the pink sauce? It's, it's dumb. It's dumb. The pink sauce is a uh, pink sauce that failed very harshly. She's definitely not being smart. I generally believe she's just dumb. I generally believe she might even have dropped out of high school and is now trying to make out a, a fucking living. I can, it's just using know? the views that she's getting. From and you know what? I can I can respect that she's <laughs> at least not like selling her body. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I'll I'll take that one. But gotta be smart about it, girl. From this controversy to push her product out into the market. And she makes it seem like some sort of f***ing magic cleaning solution, but it's not as good as it looks. This is a gravestone before she cleaned it, and this is after she used the clean girl solution. No, it's f***ing not. That's after she painted it. This is what it looked like that. Before, after. after. Let me get this straight, though. You are mm -hmm. cleaning gravestones without asking for permission and then using the controversial conversation that is around your videos to promote your clean girl solution. Yeah, if that isn't the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. I mean, you've cleaned baby's gravestones without asking for permission, and you knew that was going to create a controversial response. I don't think she knew. Your Again, product, I think she's stupid. It? I mean, do you not have any sort of moral code whatsoever? And the final question on our hands is how? How was she allowed to do this? How is Clean Girl allowed to do this? Well... Well, I'd see you. Not as simple. She's not allowed. I think she would have been kicked out of the graveyards long ago if she wasn't allowed to do it. I'm gonna be honest. I think she would have been kicked out long ago. I think if the graveyard keepers actually saw her painting shit, and if she does it a lot of times, they would have caught her. Like, how many fucking graveyards are around a person generally? You know, I only know of one near me. Like, I would say the graveyard keepers do know, at least. No, some of it. You know, you know. As far as I'm aware, according to Google, yes, it is illegal. Depending on whether there was actual damage, she would be fine too. Well, to there you go. Graves. Apparently, did it say As paint? far as I'm aware, according to Google, yes, it's illegal to paint graves if it's considered to be desecration. Well, and then you have to argue what desecration is in this case. Like, is she actually desecrating them? That people actually say she's not allowed to do it. It is illegal to paint graves. Apparently it's considered... Intentionally vandalizing. Really depends now. It really depends now if she has permission or not. Intentionally vandalizing. Who knows if it's actually illegal, but if there is someone watching the video, it would... 
desecration is a graffiti law. You also could let us know mm. in the comments, but if it isn't illegal, it f***ing should be. But just put yourself in the family member's shoes. She didn't ask you for permission. You go on TikTok, you see your deceased family. But how do you know, though? You know? gravestone, and you go... Listen, his entire argument falls apart because he doesn't know. How do you know she doesn't have permission? How do you know the other people have permission? You know what I mean? How do you know she didn't ask the graveyard people? Her acting like a f***ing idiot doing some Disney Channel bullshit. It just feels disrespectful. It, it feels wrong. I mean, I think the only way that she would be allowed to this clean the graves is, is if she good. got permission or unless she actually worked on the cemetery grounds. I searched up, am I allowed to randomly clean someone's grave? And the first thing that came up, it says, it is not acceptable to take it upon yourself to clean the headstone. This is morally Don't though. without permission. Without learning the correct methods or not using approved materials. This sounds you may, though. however, clean your own family member's stones. Is she cleaning her own family member's stones? I don't fing think so. But what I'm really interested in is finding out what you guys think. Uh, my conclusion, um, I do believe this is wrong. Unlike other creators who have also done the same thing, they actually ask permission, they give a big hit. But I like how do you know she doesn't? I don't think we can assume he she has permission permission if we have no proof of it either. That's what I mean. History into the person that's buried that's there. That's exactly what the I mean. The whole video is just them talking peacefully about the person's grave they're cleaning. And it's... Like, I do agree, though, that I do prefer those videos over the way she does it. I'm, I don't really like those, but... But, here's the but. The people that en enjoy those videos are getting older and older and new people are coming... Out... <laughs> Every single day, <laughs> the new new people are adding in, new people are spawning in. <laughs> no, there's there's a lot of young people. She turned up the brightness so their respawn point is more visible. <laughs> oh no! He's very respectful compared to this person who is on some new level brain rot. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, leave a like on the video, and uh, check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy the other ones also. I think. To me again, proof that she doesn't have permission or not. We don't really have proof if she does or not. Um, I love plants. Aggressively rips out vines and throws away perfectly good flowers to replace them with plastic. <laughs> yeah, this one, this one I agree with. What the, what the actual fuck, you know? Why? Why? Why would you do that? Hopefully, hopefully she proves permission in the video description. I mean, if she did, I think he would have seen that right away. I think he would have seen that right away. Uh, as a mother who has lost a child, I would have absolutely sued the hell out of her. She is disgusting. Fair. Fair. Anyone else think her hairstyle also makes her seem more childishly obnoxious? Sure. It is illegal to paint anything without permission. It's plain vandalism. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I think so. I think that's right. I think that is correct. And I agree too. Like, painting it is absolutely not acceptable unless she has permission, obviously. Otherwise, it's vandalism. If some useless woman decided to touch his grave and disturb his peace for internet fame, I would be livid. Leave my son to rest in peace. His soul, I buried my soul that day. Don't disturb my son. Hmm. I've been thoroughly amused, but alas, I must leave. I wish you all good evening and a good night. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. My son's grave was desecrated, his fan smashed, his cross turned upside down, the town was in an uproar, the sheriff's office set up cameras but we never found out who did it. If I saw some idiot doing this to my son's gravestone, I would just throw hands, no question asked. But that's different? It's different someone cleaning it and someone actually desecrating it by, like, generally doing this? That's two different acts? <sighs> Current possible, bu 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 okay. AI summary, okay. She sounds like Dora the Grave Robbing Explorer. 
<laughs> you know what? I, I can get behind that statement. I wouldn't like someone to use my dead relative as content. I can get behind that. Yeah, I can get be I can get behind that, but I also do feel like it's nice showing showing people who used to be, you know? Because otherwise they're forgotten and that way it's a way to remember them. Painting them, flashing your product, it's disrespectful. It is. So <clears throat> As someone who has buried too many loved ones, yeah, I'd ask her to not do this. We have that sorted. That's fair. That's fair. But mainly the ones she were she was cleaning were graves that were heavily overgrown and heavily dirty. At least the videos he showcased, right? Those were heavily overgrown, heavily dirty. And those flowers in the flower pants, they could have been placed there by the graveyard keepers. In the end, the important part, whether she had permission or not, is what we still don't know. Yeah, we just do not know if she does. If a family used my future earned for content, I'd kind of respect the hustle. <laughs> yeah, that's... You know what? That's fair. I do want to see if I can find her account and see uh, anything about the permission, though. Give me a moment. I will see. All right, let's see then. The clean girl. Go clean girl. Yeah, that, that's let's the one. Let's clean a let's... random grave. I cleaned a random grave. Okay. Okay, nothing about permission here. Hey, meaty. This what is my friend's rug. I'm going to clean it. Okay, she's cleaning a rug. That's not a grave, though. Tooth. Brush. Testing gadgets. Uh, none of her latest videos are great. So it's not. Here's a Come with stone. me to do a random act of kindness. Ooh, you! I'm gonna transform this grave for free. I wonder who's. Like you know, you see what I mean? They're all overgrown. Like it's like nature already taking this back. So. Overall, it's not that bad of a thing to clean it. I regret searching Pascua Otara. I guess that's the one that's buried here. Come with us. I get to do this work because you support and- This one doesn't look painted. This one doesn't look painted though, chat. This work because you support and follow. Come with me to do a See, random See, the stone is still the same. I get to do this work because you support and follow. Come this doesn't look too... Like, this isn't as bright as, as the other one. So... So maybe the other ones, she did have permission. Come with me to do a random act of kindness. Okay. Okay. Isn't that the same one? I guess it's like part one and part two. Come with me to do a random act of- I Yeah, okay, it's like this. literally part one, part two, part three. Kind of seems still, but maybe- Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, these ones, they weren't painted. Oh? <gasps> What's in this box? I need to okay. open it. Well, I think it's the Hulk. <gasps> What's in this box? What, the <laughs> what did I just- <laughs> Up. Why is it so dirty? What's in here? This might have been someone's time machine, or she put that there herself. I think she put this there herself. I think she put that there herself. I'm at the graveyard at night. Cleaning this abandoned grave for fun. I wonder who's buried here. And why is their grave so dirty? I need. It's a moo cow. Hey, a cow. It's Rosie. What these graves look like in the morning. Thanks for following. I'm at the graveyard. Mm. Thank you, Felix. <gasps> it's a moo cow. Or veteran. He deserves so much respect. Thank you, Felix. <gasps> it's a moo cow. Mm. I can't wait mm. to see what these graves look like in the morning. Thanks for following. I can't tell. This one might be painted, but this is like literally before after. Like. Where, where? Now let's reveal the name. 
Felix Perez, born 1903. Her content is entirely brain rot, but she doesn't seem to harm anything. If she paints only when she has permission, I think it's fine. But we don't know. We do not know. We just don't know. We just don't know. Um, either way, I think that will be about that, about the video. I think it's to be seen if she does have permission or not. Maybe there's something on the website about that. Mm. Why make this product? Join the waitlist? Satisfying cleaning? Nope, doesn't seem to be anything here. I want to keep an open mind. If she paints over without permission, absolutely disgusting. But I think she would have been caught by now if she didn't. It's just my two cents on the entire thing. Overall, if she does it without permission, disrespectful, definitely. But, oh well, that will be all. Thanks for watching, YouTubes.